Welcome to our video series on GTFS fairs. In these tutorials, we'll be focusing on how to create and maintain GTFS fairs version 2 data using a spreadsheet such as Google Sheets. But before we dive into the specifics, let's start with a high-level overview of what GTFS fairs is and why a transit agency might want to use it. GTFS Fares version 2 is an extension to the GTFS specification that allows agencies to communicate fare information with their riders in a standardized, machine-readable format. This means that transit agencies can more easily integrate their fare information with other applications, such as trip planning tools, payment systems, and fare validators. GTFS Fares version 2 adds several new files to the GTFS specification that allow transit agencies to represent their fares. With GTFS Fares version 2, transit agencies can represent a wide variety of fares, including one-way fares, transfers, passes, and more. Additionally, it will allow transit agencies to specify complex fare rules such as peak and off-peak pricing, distance-based fares, and fare capping. The GTFS fares specification is still under active development. Some of these features aren't yet available or are only partially supported. Although these videos aim to be up to date as possible, the best way to see what files, fields, and features are fully supported is to check on gtfs.org. Some parts of the spec may look a little confusing right now, but they should make more sense after the following video series. In these videos, we're focusing on how to create and edit fare data using a spreadsheet. The GTFS Fares V2 specification is simple enough that small to mid-sized agencies should be able to create and manage their data this way. However, larger transit agencies with more complex fare rules may need a more complicated tool or a third-party vendor to handle their fare data. Certain fare structures are easy to represent within GTFS Fares V2. These include flat rate fares, route or network-based fares, transfers, and different fare prices based on fare media. Certain fare structures are more complicated to model using only a spreadsheet. Although these types of fares are represented in GTFS fares, they require more effort and technical savvy to create and maintain. These include zone-based, stop-to-stop, -stop, and distance-based fares. Finally, some agencies have been able to represent interagency transfers, but this requires the coordination of all agencies involved and requires them to have a combined GTFS feed. Until the spec offers better support for interagency transfers, it's unlikely that you'll be able to represent them at this time. It's worth noting that these videos assume that you already have a GTFS feed. Your agency most likely has a vendor that produces your GTFS. If you produce your own GTFS in-house, or your vendor sends you the GTFS feed to publish yourself, you'll be able to add in the new fare files easily. If your vendor handles everything, you'll need to work with them to get the new files added to the feed. You should ask your vendor to consider adding support for GTFS fares version 2. That's it for this high-level overview of GTFS fares. In the following videos, we'll start diving into the specifics of how to create each of the new files introduced in this extension and provide an overview of all new fields.